set up a freeze pump thaw distillation for some dirty chloroform. As you can see, it's pink, which chloroform should not be. This chloroform happens to be the deuterated chloroform that the, the 410 lab has been using to run the NMR experiments in. And I'm going to use a freeze pump thaw distillation to clean it up. This chloroform has been sitting in a Schlenk flask with calcium hydride as a drying agent and stirring overnight. I used calcium hydride to suck up some water and to hopefully keep some of that pink color in the original flask so that I can distill clean um, deuterated chloroform into the receiving flask through this distillation bridge using liquid nitrogen and our Schlenk line set up here. So I have this Schlenk line attached to the chloroform flask, but it is not pumping down yet because if it were, the deuterated chloroform would just be evacuated away. I have to first freeze the deuterated chloroform and I will do that with liquid nitrogen. So I'll set up one of my big doers underneath here. So let's get this shifted up. nitrogen to the outside I want it to be about level with the chloroform in my flask And then once the chloroform inside the flask has frozen, you can jiggle the flask around to sort of see what the inside looks like. If it's hard to tell, we'll give it a few more minutes. Once the chloroform has frozen, you can go ahead and open the flask to vacuum. And that will remove the air inside without evaporating the deuterated chloroform. We will want to keep this nice and full with liquid nitrogen.
and let our apparatus sit for five minutes under vacuum. And then we'll come back. So it has been five minutes under vacuum. So we will turn off the vacuum. And it is very important that the vacuum is off or else when we allow our flask to thaw, we will evaporate all of the deuterated chloroform, which we really do not want. So now that the vacuum is off, we will gently remove the liquid nitrogen. So that the chloroform can come back to room temperature. And release more dissolved gases into the now evacuated system for us to evacuate again later. So the goal here is to remove dissolved gases from the chloroform and any gas in the system so that once our system is purged of gases, I'll be able to fill up the little doer with liquid nitrogen and distill chloroform just by a difference in temperature into this nice clean flask. But for now, we're gonna turn on the stirring and wait for the chloroform to thaw. So this will usually take a while so I will come back later once this has reached room temperature and is a liquid again. So it's been about 10 minutes since I started thawing this and it is not all the way done yet but I thought I'd show you guys the gas releasing as you can see all the bubbles inside as the chloroform slowly comes to room temperature. And the gas that was dissolved in the liquid comes out and fills the space that we just created with the vacuum. liquid. I'm going to replace the liquid nitrogen back under the solution. And allow it to freeze again.
once the solution has become frozen again, you can open the vacuum for five more minutes. And we'll repeat this for three vacuum cycles at least, or until you notice that the solution no longer bubbles. But I'm going to do three vacuum cycles, and then I'll come back after this defrost. Okay, so now that I have completed three cycles of freezing, pumping, and thawing, I am ready to begin the distillation. So the vacuum is turned off here. The um, chloroform is down to room temperature and is stirring. And this flask has liquid nitrogen under it, but not on it. And I'm going to slowly raise this so that it is just touching the bottom and I should start to see chloroform condense on this side. If I dunk it in the liquid nitrogen, I could get a boiling over of the chloroform and a transfer of solid that I don't want to happen. So as you can see, our chloroform is starting to boil. So I want to make sure that that doesn't get out of hand. And over here, it is starting to condense. I don't know if you can see that in the camera very well. But we just mostly want to make sure that this side doesn't get too out of hand or else your solid and impurities will also transfer over through the distillation tube.
I am going to stop mine here. And this whole system is under vacuum, um, uh, static vacuum, so that it's not getting sucked into the vacuum. But I want to leave the chloroform under nitrogen. So I have opened the line to nitrogen and I'm going to slowly open this to nitrogen so that the whole system is filled with nitrogen and as you can see that stops the distillation so that I can keep my impurities and no longer pink chloroform nice and separate. If you wanted to bring this solvent into the glove box, you'd want to leave it under vacuum so that you could cycle this through the ports without worrying about implosion. But I want to store it under nitrogen. So that is freeze pump thaw.